Welcome to Mobility Site on YouTube, the official video channel for MobilitySite.com. Hear mobile news and views. Learn what's new in mobile technology. Smartphones. Yes. iPhone. Yes. Windows Mobile. Yes. Android. Yes. You name it. We love it. This Mobility Site video first look begins now. Hey, good evening, everybody. This is Chris Light. This is MobilitySite.com. And I have the Samsung Moment. This is the uh, software portion of our little first look at this device on the Sprint Network. I showed the hardware already, and now I am going to show you guys the software. This is um, a Google Android phone, which means it's not got any real, what do you want to say, uh, major. UI enhancements. It's pretty, pretty vanilla. It's only got three panels, and uh, when I say vanilla, um, you've seen what the Droid's done, and you've seen what the HTC Hero has done with uh, HTC's done with the HTC Sense, where you've got the the whole Windows Mobile uh, HT or Touch Pro 2 look to it, which uh, I don't have anything powered up to show you what I'm talking about, but. This one is, it's this is what you see is what you get. And uh, you can move these icons around. You've got three panels to move things around onto. And I so happen to have my little NFL thing here with a Google search there. You can flip that up and get your uh, icons here. Flip it back down or just tap it. You don't really have to flip it. But it looks cool to flip it, right? So uh, we can hold down on the screen and we can set up shortcuts. And you can set up shortcuts for applications, bookmarks, contacts, uh, Gmail, and playlists. So let's go back here and do it again. We've got widgets, folders, and wallpaper. With our widgets, you get what they get you on here, which is not a whole lot other than what the standard uh, OS, which this is version, I think, uh, 1.5, which is Cupcake. And uh, I'll verify that, but that's what it looks like. Uh, you've got your analog clock, calendar, music, NFL mobile, which I showed you on the front page there, Sprint TV, uh, weather widget, large and small. So not really a lot here. We'll just put a picture frame on here, which I always thought was kind of funny. Uh, let's see here. There's a picture of a iPhone in a dock. And we're going to put this on the front page there. Oops. There you go. Now, if I don't like the widget where it's at, I can hold down on it and move it. If I really don't like it, I can hold it down and move it down here to the garbage can and padow, it's gone. So, um, I moved all my icons over here to the second page and I had a clock up here. So, But anyway, that's pretty much how that operates. Uh, up here we've got our programs. This is going to be a pretty short video. There's not a whole lot to show you here. By the way, in the first look hardware portion I wasn't really sure if these buttons were actually buttons but they are here's the home button these are just kind of touch sensitive buttons there's your menu for your home and then your back button we'll do that and see so anyway um, like on the home you can add and do wallpaper which I did actually I want to go back and show you that portion some really nice wallpapers this uh, this uh, OMLED or however you pronounce it screen is really really vibrant and we're going to put a new wallpaper on here to show you how that looks let's find a good one here let's see that looks nice let's try that one. Oh yeah that's pretty that's really not showing off the uh, the screen how bright it is though let's do one more Let's see. Yeah, that's a good one. There you go. That's nice and pretty. What do you think of that, eh? So, anyway, let's get on here to programs. On the device, you've got alarm clock, Amazon MP3 store, Bejeweled demo, which is beautiful, but it's just a demo. This is a really neat game, but I can't do anything because I've already done the trial, and I think, oh, it takes you to the Android market. 
which I don't have a good signal here I'm on a 1x very weak connection so I've got uh, we're set up to Wi-Fi and we'll see how that works out I don't think it's gonna work real good though yeah this let's just go and get out of there but anyway so yeah that's just a trial there um, we've got the browser which is pretty nice camera camcorder calendar all the basic stuff uh, a few extras down here at the bottom though uh, Sprint has put NASCAR Sprint Cup and NASCAR or NFL programs on here they've got uh, Weather Channel, Sprint TV, Sprint Navigation I've added Twit Droid which is really nice uh, Voice Control which you can access right here by just holding down there so uh, settings like I showed you voice control voicemail work email this is a client that they put on here which I did not set up called Moxier mail to uh, administer your exchange server email if you've got one which is independent and different from the actual mail application so but it's good to know that you at least can do the um, do exchange on here out of the box pretty much this is the YouTube application and like I said we don't really have a connection here so this is not going to work out for us and it's really going to make it difficult for some of my demo here I was going to show you a lot more so anyway let's see how quick this uh, slides here let's uh yeah, that's pretty quick rotation did you see that almost lightning fast it's got an 800 megahertz processor in it which is, as far as I know, besides the Snapdragon processors that are coming with some of the newer device, new, newer devices is the fastest out there available right now. So, but anyway, the software, not really a whole lot to show you here. I mean, you've seen Android already. This is the base Android sitting. Oh, I wanted to look at the settings and confirm that we're actually, uh, what version we're running. 1.5, and that is... Uh, cupcake so anyway uh, what else can I show you here not a whole lot I mean when after you've seen Android so many times you know Android is starting to really look good with 2.0 though I'll be looking at the oops I almost told y'all what I was looking at I tried to tease you at the beginning of the video you'll have to wait and see so anyway that is the short to the point quick sprint Samsung Moment video or uh, software walkthrough there. Like I said, there's not a heck of a lot to see. I mean, you can go to the App Store, which let's see. Like I said, I don't have a connection, so this might not work, but we'll go ahead and go there anyway and see. Go to the market, go to applications. There, uh, the offerings in the store are getting a lot better than when I first looked at the G1 a few months ago, or about six months ago or so or more. I am starting to become impressed. So, but anyway, Sprint has done a good job with this uh, first Android phone they've got here. It's kind of swallowed up in the media by the uh, what was that? The Verizon Droid and the Droid Aris and other Verizon offerings that are coming out there. And uh, uh, T-Mobile has the Motorola Click. So, I mean, this is uh, this is Samsung's offering, and I wish that. Let's see here, the network errors occurred, yeah, so that's what I figured. I kind of wish that Samsung would have come a little harder with the, with the, um, some customizations to the UI to make it a little bit better there. Got to cancel, let's go ahead and get out of there. Cancel, there we go. Also, one other thing I want to show, this is not software related, this space bar absolutely bites. There's times where you press it down and it doesn't actually register your key click and you've got to kind of get it on one of the side or the other. Oops. So, but uh, it's just, it's not really that big a deal, but it's worth mentioning. The keyboard overall, though, feels really good and I was able to pound out some tweets with it. So, but anyway, I will uh, let you get going. My name is Chris Lechnitz, MobilitySite.com. Keep your eyes out for some contests and some really nice devices in the coming weeks. Not that this isn't a nice device, because it is, and I will have a full review in text and photos of this device in the next couple days. Thanks for watching.